I, I have changed my hair. Um, I've got back to my twist because sometimes you just get really tired of just uh, the same thing. I think every single black girl understands the struggle of hair. And I've actually been really, really hair lazy actually. Like just, I've not done my hair for ages. I've just been rocking the same style. I was like, no, I'm tired. I need to do something different. And I've just gone back to these twists because I kind of really like them. Welcome to my channel. So as you can see from the title in this video, I'm going to be talking about finances and certain money habits that can really change your life. In all honesty, whether we want to admit it or not, money is very, very, very important. Um, money will determine so many things in your life. Having money means the difference between um, types of education for example if you're um, born into a family that's very wealthy you're going to go into the best education system you are going to be able to afford um, the very best in maybe healthcare or you know all sorts of things like that so you know it does make a difference and it even determines like your social circles and the type of people that you interact with the people that you hang out with um, and it's all based on finances and money and you know life is not all about money but it is a very very big aspect of life and in your 20s it's good to develop habits and certain mindsets that's going to really help you to move forward in that aspect of life so it's one thing to worry about and you know when we start new years you know oftentimes one of our biggest new year's rev resolutions and things like that is to save more money or you know make more wealth you know something along those lines so it's one of those goals that many of us if not all of us you know it's one of those things that so many people aspire um, to do so my very first tip in um, mindset or a habit that should change that will change your life is hustle hustle and then hustle harder okay and what I mean by that is just simply to work you know when you are in your 20s you are in the prime of your life this is the time to work this is the time to go out and get wealth and um, this is the time when you're strong when you are able to do things don't be lazy you know use this time that you have you've got the most you will have the most freedom now than in any other point in your life you know um, because the older you get you're gonna be tied down with things like family and all sorts of different things that can get in the way of just being able to go out and do things to earn money. If you can get started on a career early, do that. You know, if you can um, start a business, do that. You know, if you're gonna do both, if you're gonna get started on a career and, you know, start a business um, alongside that, do that, okay? This is the time to do those things. Even if it's not a full business, you know, just get yourself a side hustle. Do something that is going to bring you more money. And this kind of leads to my number two, which is multiple sources of income. Now, um, if you are working a regular nine to five, I'm sorry to say that the vast majority of us, you are not going to make it rich with a regular nine to five. I'm sorry, but that is just the way it is. You know, you need to have some kind of side hustle unless you know you're working a lovely six figure salary, then okay, you know, that's good if that's your nine to five. But I think for the vast majority of us, you need to have some kind of other source of income. A really book, good book to read would be Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad. I highly recommend you reading that if you are interested in learning about passive income and ways in which that you can make money. Because it's about, it's one of those things, it's about just not putting all your eggs in one basket. Um, relying on just your regular job for your sole wealth you know for for all the money that you have you know what if you lose that job what if you're made redundant what if something happens whereby you're not able to go to work you know just having another source of income just kind of gives you that peace of mind knowing that okay well if this doesn't work out at least i have another stream another pot of money that i know is going to come through and just kind of help me out so yeah definitely multiple source of income very very important if you are trying to gain wealth now this may sound like a bit of a contradiction to everything I'm talking about now, but I think life is a delicate balance and we have to take things in a balanced way. So I would say is in all your getting, in all your, you know, trying to go out and get well, try not to worry about money too much. Um, and I would say that because 
You cannot live your life just constantly worrying about money. Um, I think for myself, I've always had the mindset that, you know, I'm not poor, I will not be poor, I will gain wealth. And that might sound kind of cocky, but all it is is just the mindset that I am not going to worry about money. Money will come some way, somehow. Um, and it's all to do with the, the words that you are feeding yourself. You know, if you are constantly thinking, I can't afford this, I can't afford that, I'm so broke, you know, I don't have any money, then that is the information you are constantly feeding your brain. You're telling yourself that you are in a state of lack and you're not going to come from that. Um, and that's not good. Remember that, um, well, the Bible says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. And that is something that I strongly believe in. You know, the words that you say brings forth life or can bring forth death. So I think it's so important that one of the mindsets that you need to have and my number three advice is to always not worry about money and have positive, you know, just make positive declarations to yourself, you know, some way I will get wealthy, some way I will have money, some way I will not lack and I think it's something that you really need to hold on to because it's a mindset that changes so many things. When you're constantly telling yourself that things are going to be okay, you will find you will just be more at rest, less anxious and just more peaceful and just know that as long as you have strength in your bones, you'll be able to go out and do the things that you need to do in order to um, get what you want to get. Number four, very, very old school advice, but you, you know, I don't think people understand this enough, but you need to save, save, save and then save some more. It's so important to learn how to put aside something for later. Literally, you know, learn to put aside something for a rainy day so that whatever it is that you are trying to acquire, whether it is, you know, dream house, dream car, dream wedding, or some kind of item that you are saving for, or even just your general peace of mind, just the peace of mind knowing that in case anything should happen, um, you have some kind of cushion there that's gonna help you. And when you save, you know, you'll be able to later on spend money on travel and, you know, little things like that. And I just think it's one of those really big things that some people, especially when you're on your, in your 20s, you can often underestimate because I think a lot of young people tend to have that YOLO mentality, you know, um, you only live once so then, you know, as soon as you get money you spend it on everything and anything and not think about tomorrow. Well, you know, yes, you only live once and yes, you don't know how long you've got, yes, your life, you, you might you know you you don't we don't know how long we've got but just in case you do live to 80 90 100 years old you know you'd be awfully sad if you just did not make plans for your future and you did not invest um you did not invest in yourself so even if it's just 10 percent of your salary that you're saving for example if you've got 100 pounds you know put aside 10 pounds, don't even think about that 10 pounds and keep doing that whether you're getting paid weekly, monthly or whenever you get that money, put aside just that little bit and in time it will build up and you know whether it's just a little bit here and there, maybe you can save more, maybe it's just 5 pounds here, 10 pounds here, you know 50 pounds here, 100 pounds here but you will find that when you, you know, when you need it, those little bits that you've just been putting aside it will really come in handy and you know that's something that I found to be so helpful in my 20s just having that little bit of backup you know that cushion that you know that if the worst should happen we have some kind of financial pot that we can dip into okay um, and it's something that you need to develop in your 20s you know don't wait till your 30s or in your 40s to start doing this you know the quicker you start the better and lastly, um, my number five advice would be, um, and I think I've said this in many of my videos in one way or another, but stop trying to keep up with the latest trends, you know, the latest designer stuff, the latest this, you know, do not be trying to keep up with the Joneses or anything else that you see on social media. Because um, at the end of the day, you know, if you cannot afford something, and I'm just saying, I'm not saying don't be optimistic, because I did say earlier on, you know, just believe that you will have wealth and you will have money, but at the same time, be optimistic, but be realistic. If you're invited out to dinner with your friends and you know for a fact that you can't even afford anything even on the starter menus and you're looking at the drinks thinking, Whew, even the drinks are expensive, then you have a problem. If you're trying to save up for something bigger, if you cannot afford, you know, items right now, do not, um, 
don't do it. Just don't do it to your life because you will regret it later. Um, you know, if you are taking out loans and debt in order to, you know, live a lifestyle that is not really true, you need to learn to cut your coat according to your size and live beneath your means. There is absolutely nothing wrong with, um, being able to say, you know what, I'm sorry, but I can't afford that right now. And that's the key term, you can't afford it right now. Not saying that you'll never be able to afford it, like I said, be positive, be optimistic. You will be able to have loads of like nice things later on in life, but for now, okay, you need to be able to just shut your eyes and say, okay, I can't do this right now. Um, I'm not in the correct financial situation. And in all honesty, people will respect you more for being able to say, I'm sorry, I can't do that right now, I can't afford it, rather than trying to live a lifestyle that later on you can't maintain and it leads to all sorts of problems later on. So yeah, that's, that's about it really. Um, I just wanted to talk about just these money habits and mindsets that you know I have developed over time and in my 20s that I think is just you know really valuable and it's something that we all need to just do more of um, and I'm you know I am saying I obviously I am talking to people in my 20s because that's where I am at but obviously this advice I'm giving it can you could be in your teens you could be um, in your 30s and 40s and it still applies but anyway I hope you'd like this video and if you did um, leave your comments down below and let me know what are some of the money habits and mindsets that you practice in order to acquire wealth um, and yeah I will catch you in another video next week take care bye